So uh, Clernox is a uh, Australian company based in based in Melbourne, based in Melbourne, uh, and uh, it's, it's been established by 2001. And uh, actually, uh, we have been one of the first uh, 200 uh, member of Bluetooth C community. Right now, it's more than 36,000 worldwide uh, members. So we have been at the very beginning of this all IoT craziness, which was starting. And uh, that was a privilege that we have been uh, we have been uh, in many projects uh, around globe in many industries so far. Uh, that includes the small startup companies who is trying to build innovative products into the market space, and uh, up to the Fortune 100 customers who is really um, working in this uh, hard in this field for uh, making their products smart and connected. So um, the, the good thing with our stack, uh, as Volkan had mentioned, uh, not only the product itself, but we do have a, also a good set of uh, tools to enable you to make the designs much easier and much faster. Next slide, please. So just, okay. I guess, yeah, okay, that's, thank you. Um, so uh, a bunch of uh, customers that I don't want to touch my, uh, much of them, uh, we do have projects with, as I said, with Fortune 100 customers. So a few brands around like Daimler, like Mitsubishi, GE Electric, uh, GE uh, Healthcare. So a few customers uh, around that you probably uh, know the logos around and uh, we have been working with them uh, for a long time. Next slide, please, Rich. Okay, yeah. So a uh, few testimonials from customers, one from Daimler. Um, in return of Daimler is not uh, usually uh, giving much uh, testimonials as such, but in return of one of our projects that we have been involved in and as an appreciation of the work that has been done, uh, they, they gave a very good testimonial uh, for us. And the same goes with uh, Hewlett Packard, uh, which is, you know, uh, working with uh, thousands of suppliers. Uh, they were naming us one of the best uh, team uh, helping them in developing their application. So I think that uh, the good uh, privilege of the company, the, the good pride of the company, uh, we never have ever failed any project uh, so far, even in very complicated projects. So the, uh, the good um, platform that we do provide to our customers is a abstraction of their choices. So we are giving a freedom of choice uh, to select whichever uh, operating system or whichever wireless that they will be going with, uh, whichever Bluetooth uh, chip that they will be uh, going with, is a sort of flexibility that we can give to our customers because of pricing or the uh, requirements there's a lot of different um, different expectations from the project that you might be uh, using different platforms. Uh, so thanks to uh, our wide support, more than 20 different platforms, which includes Kyle, RTX, and Safe Artos, uh, for example, uh, on the board uh, that we will be demonstrating today uh, over uh, XMC 4800. Uh, the, the presentation demo will be based on that one. And you can run uh, different uh, operating systems or real-time operating systems according to your um, expectations of the project. So we are quite good on supporting any any different platforms and uh, similarly for the any HCI Bluetooth chip in the marketplace. Next slide, please. So giving a little bit insight about the stack itself, um, I'll not be getting into full details. So the gray area that you are seeing uh, right now is the uh, Bluetooth stack that we will be demonstrating uh, today. And uh, also uh, there will be a Wi-Fi stack as well. So the gray area inside um, is the uh, where uh, our libraries are uh, existing for the Bluetooth connectivity for Bluetooth low energy and uh, Bluetooth uh, functionality. And uh, you can connect your uh, device through the BSP interface uh, either through SPI or SDIO or UART or USB 
whichever method that you will uh, choose for. So uh, it's a quite flexible type of connectivity that we can uh, provide to your target. And as I said, we can uh, abstract uh, the, the real-time operating system through the BSP interface. So you do not need to bother about which operating system or which platform that you will be using. And similarly, similarly um, you do not need to bother about the TCP IP stack as well. We do have a glue layer on that one as well. And you can make your implementation, uh, if you just check the left, left hand side, uh, you can, uh, using the, uh, the libraries for the network and stack interface, you can integrate it to any type of, uh, any type of uh, TCP IP stacks available in the market. And on the top, actually, there are Bluetooth applications. So we are providing our customers a quite flexible uh, APIs, uh, very powerful APIs, uh, and uh, blocking, non-blocking mode operation, giving a functionality, simultaneous uh, connectivity for uh, different roles and profiles at the same time. I, I think that is one of the best uh, and most enhanced uh, uh, protocol layers uh, stacks in the market. So next slide, please. So the same goes with Bluetooth Low Energy. Uh, and uh, actually, in today's demo, you will see the uh, Bluetooth Low Energy stack. Uh, it's uh, GET-based profiles, and uh, some sensors will be connected. So uh, Nalika will give more information about uh, the, the, uh, the demo and set up uh, later in, in our slides. Next slide, please, Nalika. And the final one is the Wi-Fi stack. So um, we are using Wi-Fi um, as a, a simultaneous stack uh, in parallel, might be running with Bluetooth and might be running standalone uh, product. So uh, Wi-Fi stack would be also presented on today's XMC 4800 uh, stack as well. Very similarly, uh, we can support AP station, P2P, VPA, WPS type of um, connectivity. And uh, very similarly with the BSP interface, you can do the uh, connectivity through your board or your target, uh, either through SDI or SPI or USB targets that uh, we do provide connectivity. So saying that, I would like to uh, not take too much of your time. Uh, and uh, we would like to ask you a simple question about a poll. So I will hand over to Nalika. Thanks for you to join again. And if you can answer the quick poll within the next one minute, uh, then we will be switching to Nalika slides. Thank you. So it looks like we do have a lot of audience, at least uh, working on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, Bluetooth Low Energy together. Uh, I hope it will be useful for you. So thank you again for your, uh, for your attendance. And I would like to hand over to our senior embedded engineer, uh, Nalika Dona, to present her slides. Thank you very much. Nalika, over to you. Yeah, thank you, Sardar. And hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Nalika Dona, and I work as a, a embedded design engineer for Clarinox Technologies. So today we will be showing you a simple cloud-based IoT application implemented with Clarinox's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth low energy stacks uh, running on Infineon XMC4800 Relax Kit interfaced with Clarinox uh, Joino Shield wireless module. Uh, well, uh, Clarinox uh, provides embedded wireless solutions to the customers to build innovative and competitive IoT products. So Clarinox's products range from software solutions to a series of interrelated uh, hardware modules. So as mentioned by Sada Sayer before, uh, Clarinox Wi-Fi and Clarinox Blue are among the major wireless connectivity products that we provide to our customers. 
uh, Clarinox Wi-Fi protocol stacks comes with uh, WPA enterprise support running on real-time operating systems, uh, supporting access point, station, and Wi-Fi direct modes. And the stack is able to operate these multiple roles simultaneously. Clarinox Wi-Fi has a clean architecture and uh, which isolates the application from the lower layers and it can be used with TCP IP stack and most of the available uh, real-time operating systems. So Clarinox Blue is our Bluetooth protocol stack which supports for single mode or dual mode Bluetooth with uh, Bluetooth low energy. So same as the Wi-Fi stack, uh, it supports uh, multiple simultaneous roles and profiles. Clarinox Blue provides a simple uh, and flexible solutions to the developers, enabling them to spend more time on their application rather than uh, the inner working on the Bluetooth technology. So both these protocol stacks support uh, blocking and non-blocking API calls and uh, works with single and multi-threaded applications. Um, and then I would like to talk uh, more about our debugging tool, Clarify Debugger, uh, which is a software tool for debugging embedded wireless applications. So the Clarify Debugger is a very simple but a powerful tool and it gives you a very detailed uh, information about your wireless application. Uh, so this uh, Clarify Debugger gives you a very detailed status of the em embedded application uh, with a full protocol analyzer. So let me show you the Clarify Debugger with some uh, BLE debug logs captured uh, when we uh, run our BLE mesh application. So the debugger comes with a number of protocol monitors, such as uh, separate uh, Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi monitors. Uh, in the Wi-Fi monitor, we can't see anything yet because of the application is uh, only Bluetooth low energy mesh application. So, um, and the Clarinox tasking monitor and memory monitors, which are memory statistics, memory pool set and memory monitor. And uh, it also comes with the Bluetooth uh, mesh monitor. And uh, apart from all these types of monitors, there's this message browser, which shows the collection of all the messages in a separate window. And if you click on any of these messages in the message details window, you can see the more details of each message with the, all the parameters. So uh, this debugger um, also comes with the virtual console, which is very similar to a um, serial uh, terminal that you uh, a family within most of the debuggers and there's a Lua command line and uh, it is very user-friendly debugger uh, with all the menu icons uh, which we can use to execute the uh, menus um, menu items easily and uh, there's a possibility there's a uh, option that a uh, user can save the debug logs uh, for later analysis and uh, the deb debugger comes with uh, many other um, test uh, architecture as well, which I'm gonna uh, talk in my later slides. Uh, well, so uh, we can monitor and analyze different types of messages in this debugger. For example, thread related messages, including thread start and thread termination and uh, profiling and stack trace messages. Uh, these messages are simply the function call and function return messages and informative messages which carry piece of text including logging, warning and uh, fatal error messages and memory messages uh, which carry information about uh, memory allocations and deallocations and protocol monitoring messages, including remote procedure call, Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi monitoring messages and cooperative tasking messages, including the uh, name of the scheduler context and the execution time of the tasks being monitored. So this analyzing capability that the debugger supports is very useful when you run several wireless technologies such as bluetooth and wi-fi together and if there is any issues then uh, we have access to all the protocol messages and it is easy to find out uh, where it goes wrong and this analyzing capability is extremely useful in a bluetooth mesh network 
um, where um, tens of hundreds of units are connected on the same network and it becomes quite difficult to find the bugs uh, without having a mesh network monitor like this. So moving back to my slides. The other important thing in the Clarify debugger is uh, it is integrated with a Lua engine. So we can use Lua scripting to capture the errors easily and automatically, and we don't have to wait and monitor the debug output until uh, any errors occur. So the debugger will automatically capture and trigger, tr trigger uh, these errors uh, if you have already written the Lua scripting for that. So Lua provides an easy search and filtering options for the debugger. For example, we can easily search for any uh, message in the message browser. Uh, based on string text, if you right click on here and highlight a string by match, and then if we say Clarinox Blue, so it will uh, search for all the messages with that string, and we can easily filter these messages in a separate view. And then later on, we can uh, and use these filtered results uh, in our analysis further. So Lua integration also makes it easier to analyze the memory usage and the performance of your application as well. So another benefit of having Lua integrated with the Clarify is uh, it supports the control channel test architecture. So automated testing on the hardware is very easy with Clarify test architecture. So Clarify uses uh, Clarinox test channel protocol, uh, which is a client server based protocol to communicate with the uh, IUT, which is the implementation on the test device. So the client is always the debugger while the server is the device on the test. So via this uh, test channel protocol, the debugger can uh, read and write to the memory on the device. Uh, it can call test functions on the device. And at the same time, the device and test can also call the uh, registered Lua functions on the Clarify side. So this framework is uh, equipped with a compiler which takes C header files and passes the prototype of the test functions and any dependent C data types in them, and then uh, generates a Lua script containing the details of all the test functions and the dependent C data types. So using the information in this Lua script, uh, the test framework can automatically map between the C data types of functions and the Lua data types and functions. So when all the test functions are defined with their function prototypes, uh, a Lua API library can be created and compiled, uh, which uh, includes all the function prototypes. So the test framework consists of test cases, uh, which implements uh, low level logic and high level logic. So low level logic deals with Clarinox uh, wireless APIs and memory management, uh, such as things like that. And it is um, implemented in C, C++ and runs on the target device. The high level logic, on the other hand, um, deals with what should happen for the test case to be succeeded. For example, if the Wi-Fi device is discovered, then connect to it, otherwise scan it and so on. So the high level logic is implemented in Lua and it runs on the Clarify side. So this uh, Lua code contains the logic to communicate with the target device and the tester device such as a Wi-Fi access point or Bluetooth uh, PTS and at the same time. So this way the test architecture allows for implementation of uh, fully automated test cases. <coughs> So this testing capability is very useful for projects uh, life cycle management because when there are new features added to the project, Clarify can be used to run uh, the test run and test the uh, and test and qualify the newly added features. Also, it is uh, useful for project quality management and also for other sort of wireless qualification tests such as uh, Bluetooth C qualification, FCC qualification tests, and so on. So Clarify supports semi-automated testing, which is uh, 
GUI based testing with uh, menu based test cases and fully automated testing is supported via Lua scripting. So with Lua scripting, we can uh, run fully automated tests using the function CLX run test case or CLX run case, test case no reset. The difference is the first function will prompt the user to restart the target application before connecting to the test server. In Clarify Debugger, uh, we have the option to provide the test configuration parameters using a GUI-based interface. So when we run the test, um, either automatically or manually, a test report will be generated on the Lua command line. So let me quickly show you how these tests work on our Clarify Debugger. At the moment, I have connected the debugger to a Koala EVM board. Uh, if I enable the webcam, perhaps you should be able to see. So this is the Koala EVM green board. So this is the device under test at the moment and currently running Clarinox uh, Bluetooth low energy test application on it. So um, when we run this test application uh, in our Clarify debugger under the menu script and test, and then uh, we have API library configuration, Bluetooth test application. We have configured all the parameters related to this uh, test application here and then uh, we can run uh, some test cases that we have already loaded so this is bluetooth low energy uh, test application we are running so we have three test cases uh, available so i can show you uh, a sample lua script that we have written to get this uh, uh, test cases we have registered three test cases for uh, Bluetooth low energy and uh, that's what you can see in the debugger here. So if we run the first uh, test case, um, so it will initialize the test case is uh, initializing Clarinox Blue and it will uh, generate the uh, report as well. And then we can uh, activate um, uh, we, we can enable uh, advertising of the device, which uh, the Koala EVM board will uh, start advertising. And then we can uh, allow a uh, device to be connected. Okay, I think it got stuck at some stage. Uh, so somehow you saw uh, initializing Clarinox Blue test case worked. So uh, likewise, uh, we can run uh, many test cases as possible if we have uh, loaded them uh, using uh, Lua scripting into the debugger. So let's move on to our next slide. Okay, so Clarinox uh, also has a series of hardware uh, that supports our software and the protocol stacks. Um, so starting from the EVMs, the Koala EVM Blue, uh, it's a multi-vendor platform to support simultaneous Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Bluetooth low energy applications. Uh, so this EVM consists of an Arduino interface, uh, Ethernet, USB, OTG, CAN bus, and microSD card interface as well. So uh, there are also smaller versions of wireless modules uh, with CPU, which are called Koala Connect modules or Joy modules. Uh, they are fully functional Bluetooth and Wi-Fi modules with a small form factor, and the customers can uh, use these modules either as prototyping or as a final product. 
So Clarinox uh, sensor board consists of uh, many sensors, including accelerometer, uh, gyroscope, magnetometer, haptic driver, touch sensor, etc. And uh, it is been compatible with these Koala Connect modules. So Joydino carrier and WMI carrier boards can be used to prototype these tiny Koala Connect modules and the sensor boards. So this uh, Joydino shield is uh, Clarinox's wireless module over Arduino interface, uh, which has Wi-Link 8. Uh, radio which supports simultaneous Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Uh, so, uh, well, this is a short summary of Clarinox's hardware products. Uh, if you need more information of our products, please visit www.clarinox.com where you can get more details of these products. Moving on to our demo, uh, I will explain the main hardware modules we are using in the demo. So we use Infineon XMC4800 Relax Kit, which has XMC4800 F144 ARM Cortex M4 based microcontroller uh, running at 144 megahertz with 2 MB flash and 352 kilobytes of RAM. So this board has onboard USB debugging so that we can use the same USB port for both shelling programming and debugging. Another important thing is uh, this Relax Kit has an Arduino interface. So we are going to use Clarinox's Joydino shield over the Arduino interface to provide the wireless functionality. So uh, moving back to Clarinox's Joydino shield. So this wireless module has Wi-Link 1831 uh, radio from Texas Instruments, uh, which enables both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth at the same time. Uh, running with multiple roles and profiles simultaneously. So in this demo, we will experience a simultaneous operation of Bluetooth low energy, Wi-Fi access point, and Wi-Fi station modes running on this module. Uh, so as I mentioned before in this demo, we will be showing you a simple cloud-based IoT application implemented with Clarinox's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth stacks. Uh, running on Infineon XMC4800 Relax Kit used with Clarinox Joydino Shield. So this picture shows you the complete setup of the demo. As you can see in the middle, the Infineon Relax Kit and the Joydino Shield act as a Bluetooth IoT gateway uh, with Clarinox Blue Stacks running. So uh, this IoT gateway will send some uh, sensor data in a home environment to an Amazon web server. So uh, the data can be accessed remotely via mobile apps. So in the demo, uh, we assume that the Bluetooth gateway hardware is placed in a home environment. So uh, it has access to BLE enabled sensors in the kitchen and in the garden. So we use uh, Texas Instruments BLE sensor tags, uh, which has number of sensors, including temperature and light sensors. And the readings of these are uh, used to model uh, kitchen and the garden temperature and the light level. So initially, the IoT gateway starts in uh, Wi-Fi access point mode. So uh, then we configure it to be connected to the Amazon Web Service through the uh, local Wi-Fi network. So this configuration is uh, done through uh, the gateway configuration tool running on a smartphone or any mobile device. So then the hardware setup will restart in uh, Wi-Fi station mode and connect to the local Wi-Fi network as a station. So then it will be connected to the Amazon Web Services uh, via MQTT protocol over TCP IP. At the same time, the BLE sensors will be paired with the gateway and will be sending the sensor data to the web server. So the sensor data will now uh, be accessible remotely over internet using MQTT enabled mobile apps. So we will be using MQTT dash mobile app, uh, Android app to connect to the Amazon web services and access these sensors, uh, sensor data installed in the garden and the kitchen in our home. So, this is the overall idea of the demo setup. So let's uh, move on to the real demo. So I will show the mobile phone screen and our clarified debugger. And you should also be able to see um, the hardware setup with Infineon XMC4800 Relax Kit and two TI sensor tags.
so now I have now turned on the uh, hardware and I'll start the USB uh, debugging in the clarify debugger we should be able to see that uh, the hardware setup has now started with uh, access point role so the XMC4800 relax kit now acts as a Wi-Fi access point so if we go to our mobile phone uh, if we search for the available Wi-Fi networks we should be able to see this access point so it is called CLX MQTT 9999 so if we connect to that access point uh, you can also see uh, in the debugger that we have successfully connected to um, the access point so the next step if you remember the uh, description that I gave you before about the demo uh, we can now configure this relax kit XMC 4800 the Infineon board to be uh, restarted in uh, Wi-Fi station mode if you go to the uh, gateway configuration tool so um, I have already uh, entered the uh, local Wi-Fi access point and password and our MQTT broker addresses so if I simply say submit so our device will now start in a station mode. And it will try to connect to the local uh, access point. It's successfully connected. And it will now try to connect to the MQTT web server, which also successfully happened. So it will now uh, start um, scanning for other devices. And uh, if we now turn on our uh, one of our TI sensors, so we can see in the debugger that it found one of the TI sensors. And so it, it will now act as the garden sensor, with, uh, which will publish the garden temperature and garden light level. So if you go on the clarify Wi-Fi monitor as well, you can see these uh, values have been published. So now if I go to my mobile uh, app, MQTT Dash, and I have set up a profile for our uh, demo. So uh, you can see the garden light level and the garden temperature has been uh, updated recently. And if I turn on the other sensor as well, it will act as the kitchen. Uh, it will represent the kitchen temperature and the light level. And now you can see uh, those values are also being changed. And uh, for example, uh, we can uh, reduce the light level received to the garden. So you can see a garden light activated based on that uh, light value. And this garden irrigation uh, is unlike another switch uh, that we can turn on and off the garden irrigation, which you can uh, see uh, an LED is toggling on our hardware setup. So uh, a debugger like Clarify debugger is very useful uh, if you um, work with these sort of applications uh, because it uh, provides all the information that you need and it is very easy to analyze uh, the data that you want. So, um, I will move back to my slide and uh, I hope uh, that's all uh, I wanted to cover uh, with the 
uh, MQTT application uh, running on XMC4800 Relax Kit with Clarinox Joydino Shield, which uses Clarinox's Wi Fi and Bluetooth low energy stacks. So um, I hope uh, you enjoyed the demo and uh, thank you for watching and listening to.